guys and gals, this is Barbie Figaro with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com and thank you so much for watching my video. So if you clicked on this video, chances are you want to get the insider perspective of what it really takes to get to the top of your affiliate program or your network marketing program online. And as of the date of this video, I am in the top of my affiliate marketing program of over 2000 affiliates. And I put together a little list of things that I think will be really, really helpful to for you to keep in mind as you start to pursue the business opportunity that you are in. So what I want to do in this video is kind of share some strategy and some mindset that will help uh, keep you focused in reaching your goals and getting to the top of the proverbial ladder uh, inside of your affiliate program. So if you want to know what my personal five tips to get to the very top of my affiliate marketing program are, then keep on watching. <laughs> gals well thank you so much for watching my video again this is barbie figueroa with rise marketing and design.com please take just one little moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel i would truly truly appreciate that well if you're anything like me and anything like maybe anyone watching this video chances are you have a real interest in learning how to create an income online okay and i'm not just talking about making fast money i am talking about actually creating a legitimate income, pursuing a legitimate business online. Now there's tons of opportunities online. There's business opportunities, there's affiliate programs, there's ClickBank products, there's network marketing companies that you could align yourself with to create an income. But this video is going to laser focus on actually planting your flag and getting serious about pursuing a business opportunity and getting to the top to do that. And the five tips that I'm going to give you are based on my results. I am in the top 10 of my affiliate marketing program out of 2000 affiliates. So take my word as a grain of salt. You do whatever it is that you want to do, but I just want to share from my perspective, from my experience, the five foundational principles that I implemented to get to the top of my program. Number one, pick one. Pick one, just pick one business opportunity. Pick something that lights you up. Don't just go chasing something just for the money. I promise you that usually ends in a dead end because even if you make a lot of money, you can end up feeling miserable, unhappy, unfulfilled with what you're doing. So I recommend that if you are going to pick a business opportunity, that you pick something that lights you up, something that you're really interested, a cause you can get behind, something that is fueled by passion, because that passion is going to fuel your daily activities to make sure that you reach your goals. So pick a business opportunity that lights you up. If you're into health and fitness, pick a health and fitness opportunity. If you are into internet marketing, pick a business that has to do with internet marketing and that you love the community, you love the product, you love the compensation plan, you love everything about it so much that when you wake up in the morning, you're just like on autopilot. It's just what you do. You just wake up and take the actions necessary because you just love what you're doing so much. So pick a business opportunity, one, just one, and focus on it until you start getting real results. Number two, pick one marketing strategy. Pick one marketing strategy. And what I mean by a marketing strategy is you need to find a way to drive traffic to that business opportunity. There are so many ways, just like there's so many ways to make money online, there are so many ways to drive traffic to your program. You could do Facebook paid ads, you could do Google AdWords, you could do Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, 
YouTube, which is my personal favorite. Article marketing is another one. Solo ads is another one. But pick one. Pick one and master it. Master it until it is just like second nature. Just like you're going to focus like crazy with the business opportunity, you need to focus on a marketing strategy. Don't pick the flavor of the day. Just because a lot of your friends are generating tons of leads on Instagram doesn't mean that it's going to work for you. I am totally all about picking something that is aligned with your strengths, that is aligned with your interests, and that if you can, it is aligned with something that is so natural to you that it just comes like second nature. For me, YouTube is that thing. I flip on my camera, I have an idea of what I'm going to say, and I just roll with my content and it just comes easy to me and then once i'm done filming my video i go to my editing software and i enjoy the editing process because i can have fun with it i can add different uh, sound effects and different transitions so i find it fun and it's very very effective another reason i choose video marketing is because of its seo power and because more often than not i am targeting people who are the lowest hanging fruit which are people who are actually searching for my information because, because video marketing such as YouTube is based on search. So that is the one main marketing strategy that I focus on. You won't find me really posting on Instagram. I'm not a photo person. I find it more of a chore. I don't enjoy it. So just because something is working for someone else, doesn't mean it's gonna work for you. So do something that is aligned with your personality and it is aligned with your strengths so that as you learn that one marketing strategy, you can, again, master it. Because once you master it, you become an expert even in that marketing strategy. And guess what? You can turn around and actually create a whole brand around teaching that one marketing strategy outside of your affiliate program. So that's why mastery is so important. It keeps you focused, it keeps you sharp, and it makes you an authority in that particular marketing strategy. So pick one and stick with it. And once you have created an income that is stable enough to scale up, then you can start integrating other marketing strategies into it. But in the beginning, pick one and stick with one. Number three, this is so important and it, it, it rides off the heels of number one and two and that is focus. You must have laser focus. So many of us spend so much time jumping around hoping that if we invest money that because of that act of investing money in a new business opportunity that somehow something's going to come from that. That's kind of like what I consider to be like the consumer's high. Have you ever heard of retail therapy? Usually retail therapy happens because you're either depressed about something, you feel stuck, you just feel whatever, and, and you need to get those endorphins going. So what do we do? We go to the mall, we shop, and just temporarily, temporarily, that new item makes us feel good, but it's temporary. And so when we join different business opportunities, thinking that if we just join different business opportunities, that is going to be the answer to finally creating a breakthrough this is wrong thinking I've been there trust me when I first got started I literally joined anything that was in my path because I thought well the more things I have in my uh, arsenal the more I have to sell but until you sell one thing, if you can't even sell one thing, what makes you think that you're gonna be able to sell seven? So focus, focus is your friend, focus is critical, focus is required discipline. Have you ever seen like a video of someone trying to light a match, right? And they use the power and the energy of the sun through a magnifying glass so that they can ignite a little fire, right? With the magnifying glass and the energy of the sun. The only reason that works is because of focus the focused energy of the sun so you have got to stay focused don't join a bunch of different opportunities pick one stick with that one and focus until you start to get results there are things around you that are going to tempt you they're going to test you and they are going to make you feel impatient and that is where the true struggle is just fighting yourself from wanting to get too ahead of the game when you're not there yet so focus focus on that one thing 
Focus on it daily. That's why it's important to pick something that lights you up so that as you start to build that business, you are doing something that you're actually enjoying. Number four is honor your priorities. About eight years ago now, I was in a network marketing opportunity and I did the old school way of trying to build my network marketing company. Yes, I did some online stuff. I had a video channel and I was prospecting online, but I was actively prospecting people. Um, I was doing home parties. I was, you know, doing basically uh, what we're recommended to do inside of a network marketing opportunity in order for it to work. But guess what? In that process, it was actually driving a wedge between me and my family because I didn't have any boundaries. I didn't have a work schedule. I didn't know how to say no. I didn't know how to turn off my phone. And so I was always watching my phone for updates, for likes, for messages. I worked on Saturdays. I worked on Sundays. I worked on evenings. I was on phone calls at night. And guess what? Little by little, it just started to drive friction between what mattered to me the most, which is my family. So after that incident and after I kind of like shied away from uh, promoting inside of that company and uh, I took some time off and I had a really amazing transformation in my life, which I also speak about inside of my website on my about me page. You're more than welcome to go check that out. Um, after I had that transformation, I really you know, I realized that what really truly matters are my family, my faith, and that is where I'm gonna put my focus. So I put boundaries around my business, I put a schedule around my business, I don't work Saturdays, I don't work Sundays, I don't work evenings, and that is my family time. So I've arranged it so that the bulk of my work is done at a set time that does not interfere with my priorities because there's no sense in building a business if you're gonna lose everything that you really care about in the process. So for me, it's super duper important to honor your priorities. What are your priorities? For me, it's faith, it's family, it's creating relationships and closeness with my kids and my husband. And that is why I make sure that when I'm gonna do my work, I do it mostly in the morning hours where it doesn't interfere with them. And then, you know, I am off on mom duty in the evenings, cooking dinner, feeding the dog, doing all those things. And I don't, I just, don't, I am offline completely on the weekend. Even my team knows this and it's just been, it's just part of, how I run my business. So I highly recommend that you figure out what your priorities are and build the business around your priorities. So maybe you are the opposite. Maybe you work a full-time job and you can only work at night or you can only work on the weekend. Well, make sure you divide your time so that it doesn't interfere with the things that are more important. I don't believe in that mindset that says, well, you have to sacrifice everything if you wanna do this. No, don't do that because by the time you get to the top, if you've lost your family and you've lost the things that are important to you, then you have defeated the purpose of what you're doing. There's still a way to divide that time. Let's say you need to work two hours. You can only work two hours, okay? Make sure that in those two hours you get everything done and you're done and you're done and you're done. And then you have that time to focus on your family and whatever is important to you. You don't want to get to the top and lose everything in the process. It's not worth it. So just make sure you keep your priorities straight and that you honor your priorities, you honor the people that you love in your family. And part of that is being very strict with your work hours, being very strict with how your team is able to contact you. Uh, I know it may sound a little, you know, uh, you know, like rigid, but trust me, if you wanna build a business that also allows you to have a life, you have got to create those boundaries. Otherwise, you will never stop working. You will never stop answering emails. Everything, all, every single line imaginable will be blurred. And at the end of the day, what is most important to you? Honor your priorities. Trust me on that. And then the last thing is take massive action. Pray 
and move your feet. That's what I've done. I've prayed and I've moved my feet. Every single day, I take some sort of actions to help move my business forward. And here's a little secret. As you take a massive action, you are going to start getting feedback. You might think, oh my gosh, I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna promote a business, I'm gonna start generating leads, and you go out there, you start taking action, you realize, ooh, this is harder than I thought. Well, guess what? That's feedback. So, okay, well, how do I make this easier? Or how do I make this better? Or what can I do? Or maybe I need to get a course to teach me how to generate leads. Or maybe I need to, instead of doing Instagram, maybe I need to consider video instead because this Instagram thing is really not working for me. It doesn't feel right, whatever, but I can manage video. You see what I'm saying? So you're gonna get feedback from the outside world as you take massive action. And there's one thing that I tell to people that is really surprising, and I don't know if a lot of people talk about it. I don't do too much planning in my business. Um, I don't plan so many things ahead of time. And you know why? Because the market is gonna tell me where to go, right? So the actions that I take and the feedback that I get from those actions, that's what's gonna determine my next step. The business will dictate what your next step is. I remember that when I aligned with this business opportunity, before that I was doing web design and I was working with clients and I was creating a lot of stuff based on what I thought, on what I thought would sell, on what I thought would be good for the market, on what I thought, and that was the wrong thinking. There's this movie called Robots that I don't know if you've ever seen it. And one of the main themes of the movie is see a need, fill a need. And what that means is as the need arises inside of your business, that's gonna be your cue of what to do next. In other words, let's say right now, I'm at a point where I've already sponsored over 155 people into my business in seven months. So because I've sponsored so many people, that has prompted me to take a look at my systems, to take a look at my process, to take a look at my current onboarding procedures, how my training site is set up. And so now I'm looking at everything and I'm analyzing everything to see, okay, how can I improve this? How can I tweak this? How can I make this better? So that I can smoothly as possible scale to 200 or 250, right? So the business itself, is dictating to me what my next step is. So don't get too far ahead in the planning process. Don't get too, too far ahead on what the next step is because as you take massive action and start getting feedback from those actions, that'll give you a more clear indication of what your next step is supposed to be. So anyway, I truly hope that these five steps helped you Guys and gals, there is no one way to success. There is no one secret. There is no one thing. It is a combination of many things working at the same time. But if I had to boil it down to three main words, it would be faith, focus, and massive action. Everything else is details, right? That will be figured out later. So whatever you decide to do, have faith, stay focused, and take massive action. So if this video helped you, if it gave you an aha moment, please go ahead and like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell if you wanna be alerted when I upload my next video. And if you haven't done so already, I don't know if you know this, but I have a five day how to sell without selling challenge where I basically give you the blueprint of how I've positioned myself to attract leads, sales, and signups using video marketing and sales funnels uh, using the strategies that I share inside of my five day how to sell without selling challenge. So if you haven't enrolled in it already, it is absolutely free to enroll. You're gonna get a lot of value, a lot of tips, and you can do it at your own time. So make sure you enroll for free at www.risebrandingacademy.com and make sure you take my five day how to sell without selling challenge. And if you want to learn more about the software that I'm aligned with and that helps me build sales funnels and presentations that keep working for me 24 seven, I will link that right below this video. You can check that out. And uh, if you want to even activate a seven day free trial to test the tools out for yourself, you can go ahead and do that in the description box below. So so this has been Barbie Figueroa with RiceMarketingAndDesign.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye.